Mm. I work and I live in this place, which has its ups and downs. It's a converted warehouse space, artist cliche. I can make noise, I break what I want to at any hour. At any hour, you can do pretty much whatever you want to at any hour. I live here as well. There's no way to cook. Cleaning must be hard. I don't really clean. Where do you want me? Okay. Hop on. Um, like this or? Um, um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna. It's okay. Uh, uh, keep that, but lie down. Oh, uh, you want me to relax your leg, your, relax your left leg and your toes, relax your toes. Good. Old. <laughs> Sorry. That big brown mole on my right knee. That's where God pooped on me when I was little, littler, two or three or four or three. My mother's mother would take care of me. She'd sit me on the counter while she'd make me scrambled eggs. She'd sit me on the toilet while she curled her graying hair. She had this birthmark, this big, ugly birthmark, brown, like molasses, but also sort of purple, sort of plum. That's where God shit on you. <laughs> God shit on you, I thought. You shit on you too. <laughs> I try not to move uh, when you talk, uh, when you laugh, you move. Sorry. I can put on some music. You're in the men's room and I'm in the ladies' room, and then we both walk out at exactly the same time. Women who drop their coats on the floor when they enter a room. Press and fingers fitting buttons. Not a window, but a sigh. A spoon with a serrated edge. They make spoons with a serrated edge? For grapefruit, for eating grapefruit girls and books about girls and menus. The very, very back of my underwear drawer. I like pornography. A quiet, hushed pornography. Mostly pictures. Dirty pictures. Something suggested to me and then I run with it myself. In the wide open spaces of my mind. Mind body. Bodies full of warmth and play. Knowing. Knowing. But stylized too. A clear aesthetic. It doesn't feel like no, it's not exactly porn. A camera with a point of view. He was not afraid of my desire, of its depths and lengths, its girth. Not the porn porn, poor women. Poor women porn. I like being agreeable. I like to be what the other person wants me to be. I've grown particularly adept at talking dirty. I don't do that. I mean, I can imagine that. I've grown particularly adept at copying things I hear and see on TV on the TV. Oh yes, me too. 
How do I know if I know what I desire? I tried to stick a TV where the sun don't shine. <laughs> there is a sort of porousness. He likes to watch me touch myself. Wants to know every detail of what I'm thinking about. People like to think I'm vain, like to tell me I'm vain because I love my body, because I worship it. And then he said, I'd like to be near you always, if you've got the time. Typically, I might find that sort of power disgusting. Some nights I wander around cold and drunk, looking for someone to fuck. Girls who never have to pay their own bar tabs. Mornings of unstructured grace. I want pairs of hands. It's designed to fit a good thing perfectly. I'm in the tub. So fitting my jeans. My Levi's jeans. 501 charcoal black. Put your legs in your jeans in your tub. I don't know. The beatniks did it. You like soak in the tub. They like hug to your curse. Hug to your curves. Shape to your shape. My ass is my curse because I got a fat ass. Oh girl, I haven't been fucking anybody. If I was a guy, I'd get so many girls pregnant. I'd fuck so many girls and get so many girls pregnant. I wish I could get myself pregnant. Yeah. You know, one time I walked in on my mom in the bathroom crying all pathetic, like butt ass naked, bare ass naked, wet hair, tits sagging like bent over belly, holding her head, rocking and crying because she fell because she slipped. Then she looked up at me like, tears streaming down her face and she yells at me to get out. She yells at me to go away. Like I was the slip that she slipped on. Like I was the cramp in her style and her pussy and her pussy hair was long. And I like liked seeing her naked because that's my mom. I keep finding your hairs in my books. A coin you dropped when you took your pants off is still on the floor. Please come back and pick it up. Carl? Oh, uh, hey. Your breath smells like a phone call. I, I, I just got off the horn. Uh, we'll, we'll have to go at it again. I, I know better now how to fill, how to fill it out. It didn't work? It, it got too heavy. Parts of it dried up faster, started to crack. Oh, okay. Is that a... Fox. Um, I think maybe we try the whole bottom this time. The whole bottom? from the belly button. Is that okay? Sure. Um, oh, great. Uh, coat yourself with this, yeah, your groin area, your um, everything. Uh, so the plaster doesn't stick, uh, doesn't pull out any hairs. How thick should it be? Just a good layer. Comfortable? Uh, ish. <laughs> Enough to keep still for an hour? Sure. How do you source your animals? Hmm? Uh, friends mostly. 
taxidermy.net. I got a good thing going with the butcher. I get calls sometimes about nuisance animals. State law requires they be destroyed. Can't just, can't just catch and release. A friend around the corner breeds budgies. But I use roadkill mostly. Pick a highway, any shoulder, collects masses of hide and blood and tendon. Throw it in the freezer for a few days, a month or so. It'll kill off parasites of, of any bugs, ticks. Take it back out, thaw it halfway. I like skinning halfway thawed. Keeps the intestines and stomach solid, so you skin it. I start with the dorsal incision down the back, between the ears, it hides the seams. Animals have longer fur on their backs than their bellies. Makes it so you don't sew as much. Skin down the back, pull the skin off the belly, make your way down to the legs. Do a relief cut from like the elbow down. Open up the paw pads, open up the leg, depending on the animal. Um, I'm going to start building up the crotch now. The tail you, you can usually pull out in one piece. The face, you have to go slow. Slow on lip line, the gum. You want all of the face. Make sure you get the ear butt. So cut at the ear canal where, where it starts at the base of the skull. Um, same thing with the eyes. Usually what I do is I stick my finger in the eye itself. Lift up the lid so that when I'm cutting off the skull, I'm not cutting that and leaving it on the skull. I'm leaving it attached to the skin. So you have all that um, uh, inner detail. Go, go down to the nose, go, go down to the nose, go down to the nose. Cut it off at the cartilage. If I have enough time, I'll flesh it day of. Fleshing is just scraping off the extra meat the extra fat, viscera, connective tissue. Flushing. Uh. Uh. I have some Advil in my purse. I'm fine. Mm. Seams need a lot of reinforcement. What about a human? Can you do it to a human? Not in this country. There are laws against that in this country. Grade four, I started my own business. I drew comics of people fucking, and they weren't just people, they were teachers. And teachers were fucking teachers, and teachers were fucking children. I didn't know. I didn't know everybody is just a person. And I sold subscriptions for 50 cents and this became quite profitable. I put them in people's lockers, got caught. Obviously I got caught. I got in lots of trouble. They couldn't understand how I was coming up with all this. I don't know. I don't even know. I knew it was wrong. I liked knowing I was wrong. I like that deer. She's got a secret. Which one's your favorite? How long does it take to dry? A couple of days, I just leave it. Oh. So, that's it for today? Uh, I'm behind on a bunch of projects. Uh, got a delivery this morning. This guy, he, he hands me a, a carrier pigeon. 
in a grocery store bag. An endangered species in a plastic shopping bag? Did I um see you last Thursday night on the corner of Oak and Bond, probably around nine ish? Nope. I was out with some friends for my birthday when I thought I saw you. Okay, I move in a three block radius. It was sort of a birthday party. <laughs> Once on my birthday, I didn't want a party, but I bought myself a cake. I bought myself a cake that said, happy birthday, Alice. And in the middle of a cul-de-sac, in the middle of a street leading eventually to a school with a sign saying, slow down, children at play. I lit the candles of the cake and I sang, happy birthday, Alice. And I body slammed the cake. Yeah! <laughs> candles are still lit. I got arrested. Why did you get arrested? Oh, because I was naked. Children were at play. Anyway, I swear I saw you. <laughs> Do you ever work with an assistant? What? Just I asked if you ever worked with an assistant? Almost never. Oh. When you're alone, do you shit with the door open? I'm sorry, I think I've been spending too much time by myself. I like you and all the rest of it, but I'm going to throw you out of my studio. When? Yeah. Okay. Right now. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Hello? Last night, I felt an animal, a large musky animal, maybe boar. I, I couldn't see it, but it was there, circling around me, insistent, nostrils flaring, its hot breath warming my skin, the little hairs on my neck rising. I thought it was you. Then you opened up your rib cage, the translucent hide of your body. You opened up and there was light. You folded me inside of you and you held me for a while. And I was thinking, I kept thinking, each day the same problem, this body, these hands. Was that you? Was it really you?